Hello fellow hunters. My previous video ended with a close tie between Bariot Gunlance and Bagel as the best wide gunlance. Bariot has better effective raw and ice damage. Bagel has blast. And blast is something that is not easy to measure at all. For measuring blast you must know exactly how it works. While this game hunting notes are a vast improvement over previous game, it is not clear how much blast you will get in a hunt. Every status in Monster Hunter works the following way. All this was demonstrated in Monster Hunter World since it is easy to see using mods. When you hit a monster, there is an one of three chance of applying the status value into a hidden counter. When the counter reaches the top, the effect happens and the counter is resetted with a higher value. This is what it makes than the further a hunt lasts, the less effective the status effects are. One problem is that the threshold aren't constant, not even with the same monster. While the base normal threshold is a 70 with a growing of 30. When you test it in game, you can see how the growing is bigger than this. Every quest has a status modifier then changes the grow value. For most late monsters in high rank, the modifier is 1.5 and for apexes and elder dragons the modifier is 1.9. In the example running here with Apex R Zeros we can see that it takes 3 hits to do the first explosion, 6 the second and 8 the third one. This matches the numbers with 70 being the base and then 127 and 184. This weapon has 25 blast value and when doing 75, 150 and 200 blast damage. As you can see, there is not carry over when the explosion happens, it resets to 0. There is also a factor that statues start to decay after a while of not being triggered. The rate is 5 points every 10 seconds. In World Blast did not decay but here in Kiriniko it is listed as existing. The practical effect of this is that if the monster changes areas, you may lose all your progress towards the next status. I'm accounting for the decay in these calculations because it is impossible to measure, so the actual damage increase is a bit less. Bagel Gunlands has 16 base blast, you can then raise the value to 21 using the ramp up and finally 25 eating for Dango Specialist. I haven't appreciated Tiastra Blessing I do nothing at the numbers or the testing. With that data, I can pull out my blast damage calculator. In this table I can know how many blasts I'm going to get. For knowing when to stop counting, I'm including the average poke damage and shell damage. Most if not all monsters have between 15,000 and 19,000 health. Unless big high rolls, monsters will cloak before the 6th explosion. This is an expected 600 damage, that is a 3.75% of the total monster damage that is nothing to write home about. Still, this makes the average increase per poke between 4 and 5 damage. Against Kushala, this raises 1 extra point to 6. The best thing about this damage is that it is fixed and you will get it even not running a DPS set. But using an optimized set like the ones of the last video, we can see how 4 to 5 damage is not enough to catch up with Bariot Gunlance is a 60% hit zone before applying the extra ice damage of Bariot. In better hit zones, Bariot wins even more. There is a tie in the 45 hit zone still without counting the ice. So. In conclusion Bariot is a little bit better but by an insignificant amount of damage. Buzzle is still great and will win if weakness exploit don't get activated. In fact this is a great weapon if you go for less attack skills because these extra 4 and 5 points put it on top versus weapons like Almudrin when fighting a monster with high water resistance. If you like Buzzle better for the looks go for it because 2 points of damage is not going to change anything at all. In fact, the worst player you are. The most pokes you will do and the better blast will be. So, my tier list of wide gunlances stand. With Bariot as the winner and Buzzle as a side grade that wins under circumstances. This is for me the best result because the more optimal gunlances, the better. Ah, yes, one final note. Don't waste a single skill point in blast, it does nothing at all. Bye.